Oh, man. And this is interesting because I did not know what uh, Bill was going to paint with this poem. And he decided to paint me and my fiance, which is, which is, it's good. It's all co-creation. So <clears throat> let's, let's create something. Let's create something fresh. Let our muses meet. Let them greet each other in the flesh. Let us string together randoms in an effervescent tandem. Oh, they'll think it a mirage or impossible collage. Let's create something. Let's create something new. Let's mix our creative juices with the darker morning dew. Let's invent another hue. Shades of wisdom from our youth, splashing bright into the future. Color palettes of the truth. Let's create something. Let's create something fly. Bang our souls against the wall until the mortal starts to cry. Let us forge in an adventure and invade with no retreat. Put our nimble minds together, slay that seven-headed beast. Come on, let's create something. Let's create something dope. Let's employ our painful joy and the misery and hope. Let's employ our joyful pain and the hope and misery. Points of view from different angles, synthesize and synergy. Hey, let's create something. Let's create something great. Let us fool with our tools till we fully innovate. Let's improve what we knew. Let's, 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 let's integrate. May our hearts be our arts and may our lives imitate. Let's redefine our world through color, through time, through space, through rhyme, by the grace of design, see where they see nothing. We see that deep sea of possibility, so let's create something. <laughs> you caught me spacing off into the distance. Why your eyes all bugged out like that? Like, looks like you're waiting for the rapture to come. You were my second cousin on my mom's side and my step uncle on my dad's side. Our families liked each other for some reason. You were one of my favorite cousins slash uncles. In a, in a family with a lack of stable male figures, we always had Uncle Anthony telling us jokes and taking us on some wild adventure. I remember one time when we walked all the way to your apartment the only time I ever been there, it was me and three other cousins. You went to your closet. You were going to dress us up so we looked sharp. You handed me a Florida Marlins baseball jersey, a gold herringbone necklace, and probably the best gift ever given to me by anyone, a true token of my adolescence. It was a watch, not just any watch. It was a grown man's watch. Leather band, gold dial, classy font. This watch represented manhood. A man has to know what time it is to do what he got to do. This watch even had your cologne on it. That fresh, smooth scent that was pure masculinity, my inevitable outcome. I cherish that watch. When the faux leather band broke off, I cherish that watch. When the battery died out, I cherished that watch. When the gold finish rubbed off, this isn't a real watch, but I still cherished. <laughs> I cherished that watch. Even when your cologne faded away, there was a piece of you tucked away in a shoebox. And when the family grew further apart, nobody knew what time it was. Your time ran out on my 18th birthday. When I became a man, your manhood ended. My mom was upset because I didn't attend your funeral. I just couldn't wrap my head around it. Like People in our family don't die, especially not in our 30s. I never asked how you contracted it. It didn't matter. You were our uncle. We had your back no matter what. So to this day, when I find myself bugging out my eyes, spacing off into the distance, waiting for the rapture to come, 
I know I'll find you again. Free and proud of who you are. And we laugh and smile into the next wild adventure. Rest in peace. <laughs> we were Anthony Strong. Jerry get joy riding in my bucket. Jerry get joy riding in my bucket. Joy riding in my bucket. Bucket, 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 bucket. Them ain't 26s. No, it ain't a Lexus. Riding down Ames Street, listening to Hendrix. Purple haze blasting through my factory speakers. Same old love was next, so it had to be Anita. Uh, 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 beautiful day in Nebraska. The colorful vibes make me kind of want to fanta. Fresh from an open mic, the poetic banter got me on a high note, so I drive slow. Arrived at KFC, had a taste for what they're cooking. In the parking lot, cricket sale, Facebooking. Then I shake the spot, rush hour, break a lot. Let me get up off the main street, road rage is hot. Now I'm on the side streets, potholes wide and deep, can't win for lose, yet still I cruise, hope my alignment is cool. Still I'm feeling good at a red light, revving all four cylinders. They made 23s, no. But I keep them clean though. Riding down 30th, listening to the Beatles. Abbey Road blasting through my factory speakers. The world ain't enough, so you know I'm bumping Tila. I'm on I-80, losing my composure. Pedal to the meadow, loafer to the motor. If I get pulled over, Felisa catch a fit, cause I'm never riding dirty. I'm too legit to quit. MC Hammer on the playlist. <laughs> also Marvin Gaye in, Earth, Wind and & Fire in, Rock Me Amadeus. It's back to the north side, cause I got a text from my buddy Twig telling me what's happening next. Head to Tobacco for Less, grab a fifth of E&J. As Ice Cube plays today was a good day. Head to Tobacco for Less, grab a fifth of E&J. As Ice Cube plays today was a good day. Jerry Joy riding in my bucket. Jerry Joy riding in my bucket. Tiny Joy riding in my bucket. Tiny Cap Joy riding in my bucket. Tiny Cap Joy riding in my bucket. Tiny Cap Capital neon letters. Tiny capital, tiny capital, tiny, tiny, tiny. Big homie came back to the pad. What's in the little brown bag? Are you sure you can handle this alone? I'm 17, I'm grown. So I grabbed the sack, twist the cap till it cracked, took a swig really big and I hacked and I hacked, but I had to overpower it. Man. What's in this bottle? It tastes like I'm swallowing tiny capital neon letters. Tiny capital neon letters. Whew. Man, I'm feeling great. What a wild introduction to the state. Got me feeling all light on my feet. Talking loud, freestyling to the beat. It's like a new beginning. My little heart gets to singing. And then the girls get to grinning. And then the room gets to spinning. Hold up. Tiny capital neon letters in retrograde on the porcelain. <laughs> what a mess I made. Stomach like a gyroscope. Might as well say goodbye to hope. Then the first liar sins. I'm never gonna drink again. I'm never gonna tiny capital neon letters. Tiny capital neon letters. Tiny cap, <sighs> neon letters. Tiny capital neon letters. Tiny capital neon letters. Tiny capital, tiny capital, tiny, tiny, tiny. <laughs> Riding down 33rd. <laughs> Bright light in my mirror. <laughs> Belly full of Everclear, whoop! Okay, sir, could you follow this light with your eyes? All right, now, could you please walk this line? Come back, very good. All right, now, please, blow, blow into this device. All right, hold tight, I'll be back. D, U, I. Giant capital county letters. Giant capital county letters. Giant capital 
county, letters, giant, capital, county, cheers. In the grand finale, America needs a black grandma for president in 2020. Now, I love you, Democrats and Republicans, but if you don't stop all this arguing, I'm going to send you right back to your mama. <laughs> and all this overseas stuff here going to stop. Ain't no more dropping, ain't, you ain't dropping no more bombs on no babies, you hear me? I don't care what you do, how you live, as long as you're not hurting anybody. And if you don't let those immigrants be, they're just trying to live a better life like you and me. And the poor, the poor is always welcome at Big Mama's house. What's the matter with y'all acting like y'all ain't got no lick of sense? Well, how about this? Make America go get a switch again. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know what a switch is, if grandma, if grandma didn't have one readily available, she would send you outside to the nearest tree and find a long, thin branch around the shape and size of a 1984 uh, Zenith TV antenna and bring it back to her. She would then proceed to rapidly swat your minimus, uh, medius, and gluteus maximus at a 45 degree angle for roughly 15 to 20 seconds, audio commentary optional. <laughs> it hurt. But it was the truth. America, you may be older than grandma, but you're still a young nation. See, grandma's wise. She's watched you grow. She's seen all your achievements. She's very, very proud of your accomplishments. But she also knows what you're capable of and, and how great you can be. And she'll be damned if she lets you fall by the wayside because you ignorant. <laughs> I guess she's just trying to instill some, some self-discipline in. You gotta check yourself because you're wrecking yourself, baby. Now go around the corner and apologize to the rest of the world. Hey, 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 <laughs> turn that heat down because it is entirely too hot on this planet. And cut the TV off in the living room if you're not using it because I pay the bills in this White House and this budget ain't going to balance itself. Yeah. My name is Devel Crisp. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Bill.